Hello everyone. I am Gaurav Singh. I am here to present you the video lecture for the review tour of the Transport Design Engineering. Our topic is Modern DNA System. This project has been done by Vandit Bansal, me Gaurav Singh and Saurav Kumar. Why we have chosen this topic? Because we are seeing that from the ancient time this topic has been taken under the consideration by the Roman and the Aryan themselves. They understood the importance of the DNA system. And now in the modern era, the Macadam, Telford and other companies have also appreciated the need of a good DNA system for the success of the roadways or the pavement we can say. As we are living in the 20th century, the number of the automobiles and the trucks have increased rapidly. And the need of a good pavement or the roadways is necessary for the development of a country of a developed country. Because if a country don't have a proper transportation system or if they don't have a proper pavement design then a country don't afford to spend the monies more on the same road by constructing them and again repairing them. It will cost a lot for a big country like the India. It is a great news that India has announced 100 smart cities to be built nearby during uh, 2020. Uh, in this process, uh, the main parameters which they are taking into consideration are smart water, smart electricity, smart transportation and ETCs. Okay, uh, what is drain highway drainage? Uh, highway drainage is very important for the civil engineering aspect because water that drains from the road and the footpath flows in the public uh, drainage system. This is known as the highway drainage. That means the water which falls from the sky, it drains to the drainage system that is called the highway drainage. A proper drainage is very important for the design of the highway because if a proper drainage is not been provided there, then the it might create a problem for the premature uh, might create problems like premature deterioration of the highway and the development of the adverse safety conditions. It might lead to the increased number of the accidents, which is again very big problem for the country like India, which are having the huge populations. Uh, it is also important for the general functioning of the highway drainage system to remove the rainwater from the road and the waters from the highway right of way. Water is also very unhelpful in the different characteristics as uh, it will reduces the tire grip uh, due to which the stopping side distance or we can say that the stopping distance increases again which causes the accidents. It also led to the formation of the ditches in the road due to which the drivers uh, generally find difficulty in the uh, in moving their vehicle on the road and due to which the accident chances again increases. Uh, the, what is the main reason uh, which causes this all of the stuffs is the water logging. So what is water logging? Um, when water from any source find no path to escape or drain out uh, and create a hazardous situation, it is called water logging. As you can see in these figures, uh, we have shown two figures uh, in which uh, the water is so much that we can say that uh, the vehicles are running on a sea or uh, we can say that the vehicles are running in a, a river full of the water. Uh, again, the water logging is uh, basically caused due to the excessive rainfall, inadequate drainage sections, unconventional or conventional drainage system failures, uh, natural salutations, absence of inlet and outlets and other stuffs. So it is very important that uh, from the transportation engineering point of view and from the civil engineers that uh, the whenever the authorities want to build a road they must have to take consideration that the water logging problem would not be there in their area or in the city because if the water will be logging there then there is no need of uh, calling a city or a country a developed country because if we are forming a road in which the river are just uh, moving then why we are calling it as a road so why do we need a modern and a smart dna system the one of the main reason is that uh, to predict the drainage clogging system the continued presence of the water on the road surface uh, generally weakens the pavement and it forms the potholes and ruts uh, due to which the subgrade reduces and the power of the load capacity on the subgrade also reduces the loss of the subgrade is support led to the failure of the road pavement under the trans traffic loads uh, hence efficient drainage is uh, imperviated needed 
so it is a very good cuter that for a successful maintenance and the operation of the highway uh, there are just three factor necessary that are drainage drainage and more drainage here we are uh, telling you about the chennai rain uh, a failure of the road in a system in 2015 flood uh, this rain this flood has basically occurred in uh, 2015 in which uh, in last 24 hours so chennai has received uh, almost 345 mm of the rain which is uh, the highest ever received in a single day in the last 114 years at least 269 people were died and uh, lakhs of the people were trapped in their houses in this uh, calamity what caused the flood authorities seem helpless when the situation get worse in, in the tamil nadu including the chennai after water level in the many area started increasing the water logging the water logging in the several part causes flood like situation in the state that is uh, the main reason of this is the drainage system failure when the water level was crossing the normal limit in the residential area the drainage system miserably failed to pass the water that is the water which uh, they are getting didn't able to pass the drainage system were blocked due to the excessive dumping of the garbage as well as the administration's failure to ensure the timely desilting it is again the failure of the authorities we are seeing here hence the water could not find a way to flow the failure of the drainage system in the chennai and the other part of the tamil nadu made the situation worse therefore it is been taken into consideration for any of the urban planning to execute and form a proper drainage system okay this is all from my part now sora will tell you for the further topics so now we are going to see what is highway drainage system highway drainage system consists of removing or controlling surface water and surface sub surface water away from the road surface and the subgrade supporting it actually during the rain part of the rain water flows on the ground or road surface while the other part percolates into the ground and reaches the ground water table raising its level the subgrade soil above the ground water table may rise through the soil pores due to phenomena of capillarity and can uh, result into failure of pavements so the drainage system now consists of two parts dewatering and drainage dewatering means the removal of rain water from the surface of the water where drainage covers all the different infrastructural elements to keep the road surface dry now here are some of the conventional drainage systems which are already being used throughout the world like airport curbs surface water drainage system and some examples of australian highway drainage system now we will have to understand that the underground monitoring is a challenging problem and through our project we propose different methods for monitoring and managing underground drain system it explains various applications like underground drainage and manual identification in real time various parameters like temperature toxic gases flow and level of water are being monitored and updated on the internet using internet of things and this enables person in charge to take the necessary actions regarding the same So in this way the unnecessary trips on the manholes are saved and can only be conducted as and when required also real time update on the internet helps in maintaining the regularity in drainage check and thus avoiding the hazards so uh, we are going to look how the system works so today's drain system is not so high tech so whenever there is a blockage it is difficult to figure out the exact location of the blockage and so the detection and repairing of the blockage becomes time consuming So this system gives the following propositions. First, we'll detect the location, and then the system governing the flow of the drainage and sewage from the pipes, and then use of flow sensor to detect the variations in the flow, and getting the prior alerts of blockages and locating them using IoT, tracing location using GPS, and sending SMS through GSMs. Now we are going to look upon the advantage advantages of this system. Basically this type of drainage monitoring system will not only help in maintaining the proper health and safety of the city but also in reducing the work of government personnel on fast and busy traffic highways and roads various type of sensors flow level temperature and gas sensors are interfaced with the microcontroller in order to make the system smart with the help of gsm and gps the officials could easily locate which manhole is having the problem and could take appropriate steps 
It also updates the live values of all the sensors in the manuals on roads falling under the respective area using IoT. Now coming to the second topic like waterproof drain system for highway tunnel. This is a very important topic because all the highways have tunnels and the reasonable tunnel waterproof and drainage system must be used on the prevention and control of tunnel water disaster. The system mentioned includes surrounding rock waterproof and drainage system and tunnel internal drainage system. The waterproof and drainage layer is made up of multiple waterproof and drainage plates which connect with each other. While the tunnel internal drain system includes left and right catchment groups both sides of tunnel internal pavement, tunnel internal drainage and catchment pipes, multiple left drainage pipes which is used to connect left catchment groups and tunnel internal catchment pipes and multiple right drainage pipes which is used to connect right water catchment groups and tunnel internal catchment pipes. Now coming to the advantage of this given system. This system had an advantage that the waterproof and drainage plate of prevention discharging integration is adopted. Moreover, the surrounding rock internal drainage system is no longer crosses the tunnel secondary lining from tunnel arch fit. Thank you and from now Varnit will tell you more about this system. Hello friends, my name is Varnit and I am here to shed some more light on the topic methods of modern drainage system. So the topic here is design of a new prefabricated road subsurface drainage system. As a civil engineer, water flow is a topic which is of great interest to the students as water being one of the most important factors which affects the hydraulic as well as the mechanical behavior of the road materials. Now for good performance of this road pavement, the requirement to be fulfilled is efficient design of a subsurface drainage. Now third point on comparison to the conventional drainage systems such as trench drainage. It is very effective. This new system uh, also increases the pavement performance as well as its surface life. Now, uh, another 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 failure of conventional drainage, which is improved by the new prefabricated road surface subsurface drainage system, is that the conventional drainage system is only constructed, which is projected in saturated condition. However, the, the thing is, most water flow occurs near the surface which are under the unsaturated condition. This whole setup of the prefabricated prototype like this whole new prefabricated road subsurface drainage system on a single term is called as subdrain. Now the thing now the question arises what is subdrain? Subdrain has been designed by using rapid prototyping selective laser sintering SLS technique in which powder polyamide material and experimental validation tests are conducted which aims to evaluate the mechanical as well as the hydraulic behavior of the prototype. Now the advantages of the new and efficient modern system are first of all it's the technology shown one of the most important advantages that it is the technology of the future. It has, a it has a capacity as well as the potential which can replace the conventional trench drainage systems we, which are being currently used in the road projects. So it can be efficient as well as it, it can be cost effective. The second thing, it can also withstand huge amount of traffic situations which is very effective in developing countries like India uh, which, shows, uh, which shows continuous increase in the number of vehicles day by day. Third point, it can also, inc it can also withstand deep burials. Which, so it can withstand the shear strength as well as the load bearing capacity. Now we come over to the topic smart drains. As the world is progressing, so is the technology with it. By becoming more and more creative as well as innovative, thanks to the brilliant minds across the globe, smart drains here is a very good example of the technological advancements on the earth, which offer immense scope for the improvement of life. But the thing is, not all the designs are viable, safe, cost effective as well as sustainable. But still, the world is definitely getting smarter thanks to the programmable components like the devices and the systems. Now the smart drains comprises of two subcategories. First, sensory drains. The second, is program sensor. For the first subcategory, sensory drains. Recently, the U EU, European Union has funded around 4.5 million for research experiments which focuses mainly on the use of sensors in drains which detects the type as well as the level of chemicals getting into the wastewater on the roads. 
The prime objective of this project uh, of this program is to spot drug as well as the drugs as well as the bomb making units by tracking the effluents for the traces of bomb and drug productions residues in both liquid as well as gaseous forms and then alerting the concerned authorities of the location of such activities. Now the second subcategory program sensors. The sensors. Sensors which are used for the research are comprised of a 10 cm long iron sensitive electrode. These electrodes when submerged in the drainage water detects the different chemicals that are commonly associated with the production of drugs or the bombs. With the help of a specific software, it can also check the concentration of the chemical ions. Now, on the other hand, the infrared red rays, they can also sweep the terrain for different gas leaks which are also found, which are mainly found in the production sites on the roads as well as, well as other areas. Now, what are the advantages of the new smart drainage systems? First, the most important thing is lives. It can use for the protection for millions of lives on earth for protection against the terrorist activities as well as other fatal accidents. It can also be used for detecting gas leaks and other hazardous chemicals which might be discharged and then on entering the central water system might cause an epidemic like uh, if might someone might drain <coughs> or it can enter the domestic purposes also. Now. I would like to conclude by saying that that monitoring as well as the functioning of drainage system is a very big challenging task. This project proposes different methods for monitoring as well as the managing the drainage system efficiently as well as effectively. It also explains various applications like for the underground drainage, surface drainage as well as the manual identification in real time which in turn can save precious, uh, different precious lives. Like uh, one can also fall in the, in the rainy season or anything. Now, these, this new system also helps the concerned authority to take necessary actions by alerting them of various changes in parameters like temperature, toxic gases as well as the flow level. Technology is future. Future is technology. These two things are twin faces of a single coin. As the time increases, one should also improve uh, uh, with the technological advancement, mostly in the daily activities. In my opinion, primary being the drainage system. At the end, on behalf of whole my group, I would like to thank my pro my professor and mentor, Mr. Gautam Sarang sir, for giving us this opportunity to showcase our talent. Thank you.